Okay, now we're on number seven, homeostasis. Um, homeostasis is a state of maintaining an internal balance in our body. So we could say um, keeping everything and on a normal range would be a good way to refer to it, even though normal is typically a term sometimes you stay away from in science uh, to say what, what is normal. But there are a lot of things that we can cl clearly define as normal. Uh, temperature ranges, blood sugar ranges, uh, pulse rates. Um, so we're going to look at this little video clip here and then um, got a couple little things to ask you on your notes. Here goes. So finally, on number eight, we are on evolution, which is not an individual thing. Uh, it's a group thing. It's a species thing. It's a population thing. And evolution uh, is one of our topics that we'll look at this year is change over time. And this time that we're talking about is a significant period of time. And um, there are a lot of examples to look at that basically we know how they've changed is by looking at fossils. And if we look at these uh, horses here and how they've changed over time, we can definitely see one of the big changes is their size. Um, but another one we could see is by looking at their feet. Um, like, did you know that horses used to have toes, they used to have four toes, but they uh, no longer do. And then a lot of times people will talk about things called the missing links. Well, here's one. Now I've got a, uh, a link to uh, a web page about this guy and and then I also have this video is kind of like an update uh, I first saw this on I don't know I used to watch uh, mysteries at the museum a lot now it was very informational learned a lot of different things from watching mysteries at the museum um, but I watched them unearth this uh, this relic and how they made cast out of it, uh, they used they used toilet paper. So I thought, oh, that is so super scientific. So this has stuck with me ever since. So this is a tiktaalik, um, and it kind of looks like that missing link between what looks like an alligator and and possibly a fish. So there's this this article, um, and it talks about adaptations uh, of it. And then, uh, as I mentioned, there is also a video, a little bit of an update compared to what they had initially found and had analyzed and then what they went back to and that they discovered that they also had kind of completed this picture of this Tiktaalik. Um, and I want you to listen for some of the things that this man talks about when, when he talks about the back end of this thing, this weirdo. And, and what it could mean for that organism. So if it means it's using it to move around or if it means it's using it to maybe prop itself up, um, what could that mean? But when we talk about evolution, we're talking about survival of the fittest. So basically, any organisms that have the correct traits that match their environment, so if I live in a cold environment and I have thick fur, that's good. That's a good thing. That's referred to as fitness. So fur would be an adaptation. It's some characteristic that makes that organism fit for survival in its environment. So it's all about environmental changes. And I mentioned before when it came to environmental pressures, it could be a, a weather thing, a climate thing, or it could be a predator situation or loss of prey, loss of food sources. Now, the last thing I want you to do with this is just to kind of examine this last slide and kind of think about this particular picture in terms of evolution and, and looking at these individuals here and what is going on here uh, in evolution and just kind of finish up your notes with this.